The Roger K. Johnson Leadership Award is named in honor of a former executive director of Metropolitan DuPage, whose longtime tenure with Metropolitan Family Services, as well as leadership and advocacy for all DuPage County families, continue to inspire our services today. The recipient of the Roger K. Johnson Leadership Award helps Metropolitan DuPage carry out its mission to provide and mobilize the services needed to strengthen families and communities. The honoree understands the importance of strong families. They also know that families are the foundation of society, shape the identity of its members, and teach important life lessons such as responsibility. The honoree also serves as a role model to others and advocates on behalf of Metropolitan DuPage and the families we serve both of which directly benefit from our awardees' values, vision, interests, philanthropy, and volunteer service. In continuing this great tradition of leadership and commitment to empowering DuPage families and communities through service and action, we are honored to recognize Paul Persick as the 2022 recipient of the Roger K. Johnson Leadership Award. Paul Persick served as a member of our community board for more than 23 years. From 1997 through 2020, including nine years as board chair from 2003 to 2012. His volunteer service, including leading and participating in all key board committees and initiatives, as he worked closely with the agency's last five executive directors. During this time, Paul and his wife Robin attended and supported each of our 20 previous DuPage galas. Additionally, Paul's previous community involvement included many years of service on the boards of Junior Achievement of DuPage County, the United Way of Hinsdale, and the United Way of Suburban Chicago. Professionally, Paul has been a leader in philanthropic resource development in DuPage County, serving as Director of Development for Central DuPage Health, now Northwestern Medicine, Bennett Academy, and the Driscoll Foundation, among others. His working career included nearly 20 years with Waste Management, Inc., where he held positions as Director of Community Investment and Director of Internal Audit. He served on the board of Suburban Chicago Planned Giving Council. With more than 40 years of for-profit and non-profit experience, Paul has brought his mission-focused leadership to the DuPage Community Board, enhancing the lives of those we serve. He has advocated for the importance of strong families, the acceptance of responsibility, and the empowerment of individuals. Paul has served as a role model, demonstrating respect and concern for all throughout our community. In 2020, Paul retired from the DuPage Community Board and promptly joined fellow former board peers on Metropolitan's DuPage Alumni Board. The leaders and mentors who serve on this alumni board continue to provide our agency and our community with valuable experience, wisdom, and support. Paul, whose father and mother both emigrated from Germany to the U.S. in the early 1950s, was born and raised in the Belmont Cragen community of Chicago's Northwest Side. He attended Chicago Public Schools K-8, through Lane Tech High School, and DePaul University, where he earned his BS degree in business and accounting. Paul and Robin have been married for 37 years and are longtime residents of Lyle, Illinois. Together, they enjoy frequent gatherings with their adult children, Tim and Lindsay, and spending time with family and friends in the North Woods of Wisconsin. In recognition of and appreciation for more than two decades of dedicated volunteer leadership with Metropolitan Family Services DuPage, and for his continuing service and support of our DuPage community. We are honored to present Paul Persick with our 2022 Roger K. Johnson Leadership Award. Thanks very much, Dan. And an extra thank you to Dan, Emily, and the terrific members of the Event Planning Committee for leading this year's gala effort. Special thanks to the Metropolitan Family Services DuPage Community Board for selecting me as this year's Roger K. Johnson Award recipient. Thanks also to all of my friends, family members, 
and members of the Metropolitan Family Team for taking time to join us virtually this evening. And none of this would have been possible without the kindness and incredible support of each and every individual, family, foundation, and organization that has blessed us with their attendance and financial support throughout the past year and especially tonight. I can think of no greater honor than to be recognized by my board peers with an award that bears Roger Johnson's name. To receive this award from Metropolitan Family Services, an organization that I admire so much, fills my heart with gratitude and humility. Thank you, thank you very much. I had the privilege of working with Roger during my early years on the board and remain honored to call him my friend. I spoke with him just a few days ago and he sends his warmest wishes to everyone. He and Judy are staying healthy, enjoying retirement and spending as much time as possible with their extended family in their beloved Stormy Lake home in Wisconsin. Preparing for tonight, I thought a lot about the importance of family and of my family in particular, and how incredibly blessed I have been. My parents started out with very little, but they and my brother Frank were my family, and they gave me so much. For the past 37 years, my wife Robin has been incredibly loving, generous, supportive, and yes, patient. And our adult children, Timothy and Lindsay, have been special gifts to us. Our daughter-in-law, Paula, is the most recent addition to the Persick family. I've had a chance to reflect on the many tangible things provided to me by my family, but at this point in my life, it's the intangibles that stand out most. These include a sense of place and belonging, financial stability, the educational opportunities, comfort and support, security, safety, health, historical roots, freedom, confidence and pride, a sense of responsibility and accountability, a sense of what's right and wrong, and respect and humility. I know I share this feeling with many here tonight. Our families have provided us with so much. We have so much to be grateful for. We are so fortunate. We are indeed blessed. For a long time, I thought that everyone had family experiences similar to mine. But the years and certainly volunteering at Metropolitan Family Services DuPage has taught me many important things, not the least of which has been that there are lots of folks in my own community who aren't so lucky and whose family experiences, at least so far, have not been quite so positive. Not all families have two parents to share the load, to provide care and guidance and love. Others are without a spouse or a partner to provide acceptance, support, and sharing, and still other members who are separated due to circumstances beyond their control, preventing them from sharing, teaching, learning from each other. Some families lack the opportunities and basic resources to enable them to succeed. Others struggle mightily every day and have very few opportunities to celebrate. In the early years when hearing of my involvement with Metropolitan Family Services, friends frequently asked the question, so what exactly does MFS do? I hate to admit it, but I sometimes struggle to come up with a concise explanation. Finding a partial example or opting instead to refer them to the agency's website. The opportunity to serve on the board and time spent hanging around with some very smart metropolitan family people has taught me the answer to that question is not as long as I once thought. In fact, it's pretty simple. Professionals at Metropolitan Family Services DuPage provide much needed direct assistance to our neighbors using a wide range of effective programs and services to help make their families healthier and stronger in a confidential, personalized way. Staff help women and men, young and old, individuals just like you and me, become better. Better husbands, 
better wives, partners, better parents for their kids, better children for their parents, better brothers and sisters for their siblings, better families, better friends and neighbors, better employees and employers, better students, better members of our community, better members of society. Can you think of a more important mission than that? What a wonderful purpose. What a beautiful gift. What an incredible team. In closing, I again want to thank all of you very much for being here this evening. Thanks for sharing this great honor with me and for gathering as an extended family to celebrate this wonderful 21st annual fundraising event. I ask you to stay close and to continue supporting the important work being done each and every day on behalf of all DuPage families. With your financial gift, tonight's goal of raising $310,000 is well within reach. Let's knock it out of the ballpark. The dedicated staff and committed volunteers of Metropolitan Family Services DuPage deserve our respect, our gratitude, and our generous support. Metropolitan Family can also use some additional direct assistance from us. As we continue to emerge from COVID-19 safeguards and social distancing, and as many of us consider revising our priorities, revisiting our old ways of doing things, and even reinventing ourselves, won't you please join me by taking a serious look at the multitude of roles you personally play in the lives of those around you. Together, let's commit to make a concerted effort to be better in each of these important roles. Better spouses, better sons and daughters, better siblings, better friends, better coworkers, better bosses, better neighbors, better grandparents, and yes, even better in-laws. I know many of you are already pretty darn good at these things, but some of us may have room for improvement. Just imagine what could happen if we each take a little more time to listen, to share, to talk, and to be kind. Together, the impact we have will truly be worth celebrating. Thank you very much.